In this video, I'm going to show one way to do a lathe tail stock alignment. I did a uh, YouTube search and I, and I came up with a few different ways, but I didn't see this, this particular method. I learned this from a videotape by Rudy Kuhoop. Uh, Rudy was a longtime contributor to Home Shop Machinist Magazine, and this is the easiest and, and most simple way that I've seen. You're going to need a couple of things. Um, you're just going to need your you're going to need your dial, and you're going to need a way to uh, mount it to your cross slide. And this is the easy part to make. Um, the only critical dimension is this hole right here. You want this hole to be on the center line of your of your lathe centers. And uh, the way I did it, I just uh, I mounted a drill into the headstock and mounted this sideways like this and um, fed it into the drill. And that, in that ensured that I was on on the center line. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a, is a test bar. Uh, this is six inches by three quarter inches round. Those dimensions aren't critical. Uh, it could be anywhere from six inches up to ten or twelve, and the diameter isn't critical either. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare this to be turned between centers. Okay, I have the piece set up, and I'm going to go ahead and do a face and cut and center drill it on both ends. I have the test bar center drilled and mounted between centers and I'm going to cut a shoulder in approximately one inch wide. I had the shoulder cut on the test bar and I had the dial mounted so I'm just going to set this in between centers snug it up and bring my dial in and stop it on zero reverse the test bar and bring the carriage down to the other side. And it looks like I'm about nine thousandths off. So I can just go over here to the to the tail stock screws and bring it right over. Both sides are tight. And now we know that our that our side to side uh, tailstock alignment is, is right on. This is the setup that I use to check the vertical alignment.
Now the final test on this would be to make a cut on a bar and measure it at both ends. And if your measurement is the same on both ends, then you're good to go. So that's the video. Hope somebody got some use out of this. And until next time, thanks for watching.